math point seven absolute value what does absolute value mean you probably remember from your math class absolute value is the distance from zero okay so what that means is uh, from zero um, on a number line what that means is say if you're on this point here uh, 4 comma 0 what is the distance from 0 it's 4 units from 0 so the absolute value of 4 is 4 if you're here on negative 4 what is the distance from negative 4 to 0 it's also 4 1 2 3 4 so the absolute value of negative 4 is also positive 4 so basically absolute value is kind of like ignoring the sign in the end and just take the positive value so another way to think of absolute value is that it's the positive value of the number regardless of the sign you can think of it that way too and if you do the math way you can uh, if you don't then maybe don't sweat it because for the SAT you can use a calculator so let's go ahead and type that in the calculator no skill involved other than calculator skill that is five and you can do that for the rest so we won't go over each one of them and let's take a look at so go ahead and do two three four and five as practice check over the answer with another classmate and as the teaching assistant if you have any questions now how do you solve for x an equation with the absolute value here's the sat question uh, absolute value of uh, 1 half x plus 4 the whole thing equals 2 and ask what is the following value satisfy set which of the following value for x satisfy the equation above so you're what you're supposed to do is you do the math way and you solve um, there's like the positive value and there's a negative value and all that if you don't remember don't worry because you still have the decimals calculator so we'll go ahead and graph that 1 over 2 x plus Four, absolute value equals two and when you do that you should in your graph you see an x there okay when you do that in your graph um, I don't like the black color but it's okay in your graph you see that there are two vertical lines and that is because you can imagine it's just a, like a number line here that's because the value here are x equals negative 4, like negative 4, 0, and x equals negative 12, negative 12, comma, 0. These are the two points, so negative 4 and negative 12. And right here we have negative 12 and we have negative 4, so the answer is 1 and 2 only, the answer is C. That's the calculator way that I want you to do. So method 1 is use the calculator. There's the math way, the algebra way, where you have the 2, the negative 2, and then the plus 2. But if you don't know that, then ask your algebra teacher to go over that again. Uh, for now, we just focus on method 1 because it's just a lot quicker to use a calculator. Uh, here we'll do one practice as uh, we'll walk, walk through, through one question and you'll do the rest. Equation, if a and b are solution to the equation above, what is the value of a minus b? So you're finding the solution to this equation here. So we'll do absolute value of 2x plus 1 equals 5. We end up with one line and two lines. These two lines are negative 3 and 2. So those are the value of a and b. So we have... Uh, negative 2 minus uh, oh negative 3 minus 2 the answer is negative 5 and if you switch the a and b um, it's as for a minus b right? if you think this is a then we have 2 minus b this is b b is negative 3 that still gets us 5 okay? but then it's the absolute value of this whole thing so we have to put an absolute value around it um, put an absolute value around it that gets us 5 so we can put an absolute value around this 
This also gets a 65, so the answer is 5. Good. All right, go ahead and do 2, 3, and 4 by yourself, and I'll see you at the next lesson. Bye.